You guys just miss me, like, absolutely belting along to Heart of Stone from 6. Uh, <laughs> right before I started recording. You missed, you missed a concert. I feel sorry for you. Anyway, we're back. We're playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And where the hell am I? We were at the stables last time. What the hell? Why am I over here? I was literally standing at the bit that we were meant to be, like, the place that I needed to be at, the marker, and it's dumped me over here. Here we are. It's a bit better. What the? Ezio, why? Okay, right. Renovate the stable. Want to renovate this for zero florins? I would love to actually spend zero florins. That is, that is a great deal. That's a bargain. Has to be said. How has he managed to, to, to do that for zero florins? Why did that cost nothing? 48 florins every 20 minutes. That's great. It's so annoying that I've lost all my money. Because like also, like remember how much money Montedigione was generating by the end of Assassin's Creed 2? And now we're, we're 48 florins every 20 minutes. Goodbye. Company Machiavelli to the Campe... Campe Dog... Doglio. Campe... Do, Dolio? Doglio? Doglio? <laughs> uh... Mount. Oh look, it's all pretty. They've put... They've put decorations up. Isn't that nice? Fuck. The one thing about horses in this game is it's so easy to run over people and then the, the guards attack you. Which, fair. Because you're basically, like, committing the you know, renaissance equivalent of a car accident, but like, maybe don't stand in front of the horse, you know what I mean? Like, if a horse is riding through town, maybe move. People ride horses through town where I live, I don't walk in front of them. Hey, hey. And the ammo. Pantheon. Ooh, it's got an eye icon on it. We're gonna race through these. Probably not, because I think we're going round it. <laughs> I intend to heal the sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borja's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined. It probably would have. I am inclined to agree with, <laughs> with Machiavelli. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Yeah, which was Rodrigo. Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the sand. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. You must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campitolio. A hundred of my well hard earned Florins. Oh, I talked to her now, I don't know how you pronounce that word. What a shame. Catch the thief. Sir, can you maybe stop though? You are making a big mistake! What the, how how? Come on. There we go. We Oh no, the guard saw me. Don't shove me, leave me alone. Okay, well, oh my god, get away from me, though. Get away from me! I love, um, Yes for Kids score, but some of the music in Brotherhood genuinely creeps me out, and this music is creepy. This music is creepy. I think that's part of- remember when I was saying in the first part about- or the second part, I don't remember. Il Campidolio Doglio. Do, any ideas on how we pronounce this? Oh, it's a hell. Okay. One of the seven hills of Rome. The Temple of Juno. Became the city, cent city center of civic government before receiving a facelift from Michelangelo. Fair. Aye, I was saying in like- first or second part about how as much as I love Brotherhood there's something about it that just doesn't do it as much as the other two for me. And I think part of it is that there's something about Brotherhood's atmosphere that makes me feel uncomfortable and that sounds really silly but there's just something like there's just something about Brotherhood and this music is like part of it is that like the actual atmosphere of Brotherhood I find unsettling. Now is that partly because one time I was playing Brotherhood when I came down with norovirus and I started like being very ill 
while I was playing the game and I had to turn it off. And am I always mentally associating Brotherhood with that time I had norovirus? Maybe. Maybe. It is entirely possible. I, I am bad for that. Uh, but no, I just, I think there's something, there's something very unsettling about Brotherhood. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's how incredibly depressing, like the setting's gorgeous, but the people are always crying in the streets. Maybe it's just an uncomfortable setting. Where the fuck am I going? Where am I going? Up or down? Must be up. Up? Must be up, because the thing is not the right shade. I should have went back to the Pantheon, but I don't know where it was. Where the hell are- where are we- where are we actually going? Oh, look, it's the art merchant. <clears throat> I'm not going to start renov renovating the city yet because I have, like, no money and I probably need to keep it for, like, buying medicine because I am bad at games and I will die. Here he is. Machiavelli, thanks for bringing the horses. They're, they're getting a good feed. What are you up to? Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. I do apologize, by the way, if you can hear like a rumbling or a clicking in the background. That is my heating system. Um, we still have a back boiler. Um, quite possibly, like, one of the only people left in the world with a back boiler, but I do have a back boiler, and you can hear it, um, clicking on and off and hear the flames coming out of it, coming from my chimney, so I apologise. The microphone's facing the, the opposite direction, but if you can hear it, I do apologise, because it is... I remember I made a video before, I think it was my really long ship video, the one that I'm planning to redo, and I only realised, like, when I was editing it, that you can hear the rumbling of the the um the heating so loud through the entire video and it's very irritating. <laughs> Rendezvous with Machiavelli's contacts and retrieve the letter he carries. Hopefully you can't hear it as much in this video because you've got the audio of the game, whereas like that video was just me sitting talking, so hopefully that drowns it out a bit, but uh, I do apologise if you can hear it. I'm not really prepared to sit and freeze my ass off just to have better audio in the game. <laughs> Right, what did it say there? We were to get it in one minute. Yeah. I need to open up, I need to get some viewpoints, because like my my map has nothing on it, which isn't great. So maybe once we finish whatever we're doing here, I'll, I'll go get some viewpoints, because this ain't great, admittedly. I remember the first time I played Assassin's Creed 2, like that was the first Assassin's Creed I ever played, I completely like missed that you're supposed to like sync the viewpoints to unlock the map and I played most of that game with no map and I don't know why I was so bad at video games back then like so bad at them and I know you're probably thinking like Lauren you're still bad at video games and you would be right but worse like I was so bad back then I just did not get it most of the time when did you become so cynical I merely described the reality of Roma today but all may not be lost the good news is that we have allies in the city how much longer this will last? Ah, another one. I cannot see. So this music's kind of creepy as well. Like, Jesper was like determined to make me feel uncomfortable. Right. Okay. Here we he go. Was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Oh no! You must be mistaken. Who are you working? Can't have that. I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Uh Okay. I can't see Uh uh Wee. Grazie. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. Ezio, stop him. Is this the guy I'm supposed to do it in one minute? Because like fuck off. Oh, I got it. Full sync. Yay! Encoded Romulus letter. Fab. 
That's useful information that we have here. You bugger off, sir. Where am I going? Where's the do where's the door? Who's got mail? Um. See, so it doesn't even tell me how far away it is. You received new emails. Ooh, I love it. I love when we have new emails. See, wasn't wasn't this such a good time when the game was like, hey, leave the animus. Something's going on in the real world. Unlike, you know almost every game that came after it that was like never leave the animus because there's never anything going on in the real world. Leave the animus rejoin Lucy, Rebecca and Sean in the sanctuary. There's literally nothing I would rather do more than leave the animus and rejoin Lucy, Rebecca and Sean in the sanctuary. <laughs> nothing I would rather do more. Okay, so we're gonna slowly. go and look at our emails because we're gonna have an email from Erdito, I believe, who are gonna let us hack in to um, our friends' emails, which is a bit dodgy, admittedly. Because like, if we try and go in here, it's gonna be like, oh no, we don't know the password. Ah, we only have one. It's just the email from Lucy. We don't have our edit detail email yet. So, Lucy Stillman to Desmond Miles. It is currently the 17th of September 2012 at 12.40am. What I always think was really cool, like, the original Assassin's Creed games, like, the first five games took place over the course of, like, what, four months? Started in September, finished at, in, on the 21st of December 2012. Whereas now, I think part of the problem with the modern day at the moment is because they're trying to have it run in a real world time. Whereas the reason that the story was so good for the first five games is because it wasn't being told in real world time. It was in the future. Like, this game came out in 2010, but our modern day here is set in 2012. It was in the future. And they just told one solid story that took place over the course of four months. Whereas, or, or September, October, yeah, four months. Um, whereas now, there's these huge gaps between all of the modern day content that means that the story is just getting so diluted by the fact that they can't tell us a succinct story because it's so broken up by these huge gaps. And even when they put in transmedia, quite often the transmedia doesn't link into the, what's going on in the games and the whole thing just becomes so like broken up and disjointed the you know people look at the modern day now and they're like oh like they've lost the plot and it's like it's bec that is the main reason the main reason the modern day has fallen apart is because they aren't trying to tell a story the way that they did in the first five games when they they had a point whereas now they're trying to make it link into the real world and it's just becoming more and more convoluted you know like syndicate they actually said in the game, like, the it was taking place, like, on the exact same day that the game released. If that game had got postponed, like, a month, it would have fucked up the modern day, which is crazy. Uh, but anyway. Weekly schedule. Monday. Anima session. Everyone. Supply run Rebecca. Clean up Lucy. Day watch. Sean to relieve Lucy at 3pm. Tuesday. Anima session. Everyone. Clean up Sean. Day watch. Lucy to relieve Rebecca at 3pm. Uh... Anima session, everyone, clean up Rebecca, day watch Rebecca. Why is Rebecca having to do the clean up and the day watch, man? Anima session, everyone, clean up Lucy, day watch Sean to relieve Lucy. Anima session, everyone, clean up Sean, team breakfast as prepared by Royal Chef Sean Hastings. Day watch, Lucy to receive, re leave Rebecca at 3pm. Anima session, everyone, team meeting, day watch Rebecca to relieve Sean. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Sunday anime session, everyone if Desmond's up to it, day watch Sean to relieve we'll say at 3 pm. Thanks. Okay, so we don't have our email from Eredito yet. But we will. Oh wait, why is it still lit up? Yeah, it's just this, like. Anyone get anything to say? Oh, they do. You're still managing the teams out in the field? No phone line. Rebecca's working on patching us into the network. 
So how's it feel letting the lady do all the work? She's no lady. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not a lady, I'm your wife. <laughs> you think we're safe here? I'm more no. concerned with the other assassins out there. If Abstergo stumbles onto information about the temples, we could have a disaster on our hands. The only people alive who've heard of the temples are here in this room. For now. And who knows, maybe they're listening to this conversation and you just gave everything away. You brought them up first. You are paranoid, Desmond. Ah. Well played. <laughs> oh, Sean. We don't have time for chit-chat. Lies. We always have time for chit-chat. You're the chit-chattiest. Oh, dear. All right. I don't like being stuck underground with them out there looking for us. You're doing a great job. We're safe here. But for how long? Vidic won't give up. I know it. Neither will we. See, I just don't believe... Right, like, I do apologize if you never played Assassin's Creed before, but that game is 13 years old. Um, so Lucy is a Templar, right? Lucy is your friend from Abstergo, but she was at Abstergo because she was, like, undercover for the assassins. She was born an assassin, raised an assassin, joined Abstergo to find out secrets. But while she was there, she defected and became a Templar. So this whole time, she's actually communicating with Abstergo behind their backs. However, I don't believe she was actually playing the Templar side. I think she was very, very conflicted. And I just think, like, there, he goes up to her and she's clearly, like, really struggling. And I just don't think she's that good an actress. I don't think she would be putting on a show like that, you know? She would just be sitting doing her work. I really do think that she is very stressed. Especially because I'm not entirely sure that she can protect them from Abstergo. Like, if Abstergo turn up here, I don't think she can protect them. And I do genuinely believe she loves her friends, you know? I just, I don't think Lucy was truly ever the enemy. I think, I think she would have found a way. I think she would have, she would have played along with both sides until she got the apple. And then I think she would have, I think she would have given it to the assassins. I don't think she would have given it back to the Templars. I really don't. But we will never know because she didn't make it to tell us. There's no time to talk. You know, she never, she never got the chance to, to make that decision because we never got that far with her. Why do we have to stay down here all day? Abstergo's still looking for us. It'd be better if we never went out at all, but then we'd run out of supplies. It's like being in a cave during a rainstorm. Yeah, well, knowing the Templars, monsoon season's about to arrive. My girl. You know, she's cut her hair short again. And Nexus, she has short hair again. You ever used the Animus? Your ancestors have such interesting lives. I went in once. It was pretty lame. Yeah, what were you? Some kind of spinster, probably. <laughs> Worse, a Prussian mercenary. I spent hours firing guns. Boring! Yeah, guns are for sissies. Honestly, these two are a nightmare. But see what I mean? See what I mean? Though, like, he's like, oh, you're some sort of spinster. Like, why is he making jokes about the fact that she's going to end up alone? Is it because he's in love with her? Yes, it's entirely because he's in love with her. He's making jokes about her being a spinster because he wants her to marry him. And it's all good. Because she does. And it's wonderful. And it's everything to me. Ready when you are. You're going to be watching this at home and you're going to be like, Lauren, are you ever going to actually play the game? And the answer is no. <laughs> I'm just going to sit and talk about the modern day. And you're just going to have to put up with it. Because that is the entire reason I'm playing these games. Um, yeah, see, there's a few times in this game specifically where Sean makes these kind of backwards comments about Rebecca. Like, he calls her a spinster. There's a bit later on where he makes a comment about the fact that she's too obsessed with computers and computers can't love. And I'm just like... You know, you're making a lot of comments about Rebecca's, like, romantic life for someone who's not all that interested. Um, I think, I think Doth protesteth too much, is what I think. And, I mean, it turns out to be true, because, like, you know, it's so funny, you know, because, like, back then, like, when I played these games originally, it was, like, just these kind of hints and stuff, and you could interpret it in different ways, and, like... The writers were like, yeah, like, we... Because someone did ask, like, Darby, like, 
Arsha and Rebecca like into each other and he was like well I think so and he is of course the one who made them get married so you know Darby McDevitt is the captain of the Sean and Rebecca ship and I am his first mate um but like the writers were like yeah that's kind of what we were implying but like you know up to you up to you um and I genuinely never really thought that I was going to actually get a confirmation on that and then uh like Syndicate felt they felt very romantic in Syndicate, but at the same time, like, Sean in the database called her my best friend in the whole world, which is sweet, but not, like, my girlfriend, my best friend in the world, which is, you know, also what, like, the doctor calls Donna. So, like, God, I thought the viewpoint was going to be up here. It's, where the hell is it? Oh, Jesus, wet. What, is it up there? Oh, oh for fuck's sake, it's up there. Ugh. I need it. I have no map here. Um, yeah, so then, like, I was really happy because, like, Syndicate is, like, the game where they have, like, the most emotion because, obviously, like, it's the game where Rebecca jumps in front of a bullet for Sean, so that's pretty romantic, and he's like, don't die on me, which is pretty romantic, and he's like, we're gonna forget the shroud because we're gonna save your life because that's more important. Um, and then they disappear from the narrative for five years, barring, like, that one appearance that Rebecca made in Assassin's Creed Last Descendants, Tomb of the Can? Tomb of the Can. In, what, like, 2016? She made an appearance in that game. But other than that, the two of them just, like, were out of the narrative for years. Why can I not climb this? Or is this one of these bloody ones where I need, like, a jumpy thing? I need the jump thing. Because, like, I don't have my, like, proper blade yet. No, because that's open. I should be able to claim it. Oh, it's because I need to go around. Um, aye. So they disappeared from the narrative for five years. And I was, like, so annoyed. I, this frustrated me to no end. Like, you do not understand. I was just angry for, like, five years straight. Because I was, like... I'm, like, put these characters back in the games. You, you, you losers, honestly. So then... <laughs> The fact that the next time they actually, like, appeared in game canon, the game just decided, like, the writers just threw out the fact that they're like, yeah, they actually got married at some point. <laughs> it was like, the last time we saw them, they weren't even dating. Like, like, the game said that they were friends. And then they came back five years later and they're like, and this time they've got together, got married, and are now contemplating children. And it was just like, wow. Like, wow. Okay. You guys just... Okay. <laughs> and, like, I love it. Like, I love it. You know? I really do. It's it's wonderful. But it's just the most... It, it, to me, that's just the most crazy thing. Like, that is the... They have had the cra craziest trajectory of, like, any ship I've ever had. Like, no other ship has ever been that chaotic, you know what I mean? Like, that is just sheer insanity. Um, and I was just, I think that's why, like, I literally, when it happens, when I saw that scene where Sean's like, blah, 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 our wedding night, I, like, almost threw my phone across the room because, like, that was just the last thing I could have ever expected to hear, you know? It truly was. That is just unhinged anyway i will shut up now uh uh oh god he's gonna run away where the fuck is he he's down here right this is chaos Yay! <laughs> the Borgia captain is fle captain is Borgia captain is fleeing. I don't think he is. I don't think he is actually. Oh, oh, you dick! How dare you? How do I get out of here? Where's your hole, little mouse? Never mind. Where's my hole? Where? <laughs> that was a sentence I should not have said. Um. <laughs> I was gonna say, never mind that. Where's the exit door is more the problem. Um, right. 
Light the Vorsha Tower. Oh, oh, bugger. Right, these lot are not going to take this well at all. I will be completely honest. They are going to shoot at me. Now, can I get up here without them knocking me down? It's, it's debatable. It's unlikely at this point. It's unlikely. They are going to throw rocks in. Oh, wow, okay. Weird, fine, sure. Um, yeah, they like to throw rocks at you when you do that. They're like, if they see you climbing shit, they'll just start throwing rocks at you. Assassins are stupid, throw rocks at them and all that. Making good progress on the Borgia Towers. We've got one out of the way already. Well, if I can ever get up to it, that is. I'll be honest, I hate doing these. Like I said earlier, like some of them aren't that bad. Some of them. Um. Um. Some of them aren't that bad. Some of them are a, like, complete bollock. Um, why can I not? Oh! See, I don't- oh god. I don't have a double jump here. But I need to light the thing. So... I can't get up there. But, like, if I. Mm, I. Mm, I'm just making noises now. I'm just making noises. But this is annoying me. How do I get up there then? We've been playing for 26 minutes and we've done absolutely nothing. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? how I roll, baby. Ah, there we go. Okay. No, wait. No, that's still not it. We were- we, we said that before. Um. Um. Nope, 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 and nope. Oh. Maybe I can't... Oh shit. Maybe I can't do it yet. Like, maybe I just can't do it without the double jump thingy. But I'm not gonna get that for ages. In which case, like, I'm just left with a Borgia Tower that I can't do anything with. But I don't think he comes back. Like, I don't think the Borgia Captain will come back. I think it will always be available for me to light, I think. Why are they still chasing me? Oh, pigeon coop. Right, I need to heal. I also need to buy more medicine at some point. This part of the map isn't lit up either. I don't even have any viewpoints apart from one that's in a Borgia Tower. Right, maybe we should just... Maybe we should just go do the mission, eh? Maybe we should just go do the mission. Where's my horse? Don't get me wrong though, like I do genuinely love the Ezio games like for the Ezio content, it's not just because I like the modern day. Um, like these games were genuinely perfect like all round. And um, 
Yeah, we've just never really had another Assassin's Creed that's ever lived up to it. And they keep churning out more, but they're never going to be this, you know? Like, nothing. And people are like, oh, like, it's just because you're an Ezio fanboy. It's like, no, it's not even that. It's not that. It, it, like, the games just aren't as good. The only other game that I've ever loved nearly as much as, um, as the Ezio games in the Assassin's Creed series is Syndicate. And people would genuinely... People... <laughs> think that's wild because it's such an unpopular game in the series but it's the only one that gave me the same feeling that these games did um you know make it that what you will i don't know why it's still like there's still a guy supposedly looking for me because i'm like 500 meters away from where he was crappy 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 Crepe Il Lupo, deliver their letter to Machiavelli near the Terme de Tre Traiano. Don't lose any help. Oh, we'll see about that. Um, sorry, my eye is actually. Is this one of the caves? It is, isn't it? It's one of the Romulus caves. Things. Tomb. Things. <laughs> Romulus and Remus looking. Oh, Jesus. Don't, well, that was that then, wasn't it? <laughs> then don't lose any health. Come on, though. That was like... That just kind of came out of nowhere. Admittedly, if I hadn't been looking at my phone, I probably would have seen it. But, you know. done this once. I think I have done the um done this without losing health but it took a few attempts. Because like a lot of the time like I won't bother about the full sink right? But in this game it is actually important because the um the full sink is how you unlock the Christina memories and I like the Christina memories. But I'm really bad at full sync, so I've never managed to unlock them all. <laughs> there isn't much about the formulas of Romulus in history books, but from what I found, there are a pagan cult operating in several abandoned locations underneath Rome. The cult worshipped the mythical, fa mythological founder of the city of Rome, Romulus, who was supposedly raised by wolves. The followers believe that Romulus was part wolf, part man, which explains their retro wardrobe and bad table manners. Sean... Search for layers. Uh, search for layers of the followers of Romulus. Yeah, so the layers of Romulus are sort of like our assassin tombs in this game. Like in the last game, obviously we found like the assassin tombs. You would go. Um. You would go in. You would go through it. You would find a, a thing at the end, and you would get like you would find the tomb of an ancient assassin. Same kind of thing here, but it's. Uh, with these Romulus things. Okay, so here we go. Halls of Nero. Locate the shrine to Romulus. Complete the memory within eight minutes. Now, obviously I've done this, like, a lot of times before so should i be able to complete it in eight minutes probably will i mm. you know it is unlikely i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's probably not going to happen <laughs> but we will try is this the right way i think it is more of these mechanisms that we saw Desmond using. Not entirely sure how they work, but they do. It's filling up a lovely pond. Uh, do we need to go get like... 
I need to do the other one. Oh, it's you, you little bitch. I have a friend who constantly complains that, like, the controls of this game are jank. And, like, I don't necessarily disagree, but, like, you just, you know, learn. Learn to- learn how to control the jank. Like, skill issue. <laughs> The controls are jank, but you're supposed to learn how to use them. Get good, bro. But yeah, like I will admit, there are times when you're trying to do stuff like this where it's like you're trying to do stuff at a speed and he's just like flinging himself all over the damn room and you're like, oh my god. But the, 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 like, the exchange is that because, like, it was a proper intricate parkour system, you could have fun puzzles like this. Whereas with Valhalla, where you can just claim everything, all sense of, like, puzzle and, like, skill is gone. There isn't, you don't have to learn a control system, you don't have to figure things out, you just claim whatever the hell you want to claim. And I don't think that's really the point. It's not the same. If you ask me. I liked it more when there was like some semblance of skill involved. But. Wee! Oh. Okay. Admittedly, I don't remember where we go now. One of these damn flags. 101 Borgia flags. Absolutely not. I don't think I'm going to complete this in 8 minutes somehow. Again, I'm sure I have. Um, but today will not be that day. I don't mind like a time trial like I've done. Shit, that was the wrong button. I've done like all the time trials in Tomb Raider like Legend. I've done a few time trials in like Bandicoot, but trying to do things fast in Assassin's Creed just isn't a lot of fun a lot of the time. It's not really a game for speed. Wait, where the hell am I going? Where where am I going? Okay. No, wait. This is that this is the right way, but where am I going? I know this is where I'm meant to go. Ah wait, there we go. Yeah, we're definitely not doing it in eight minutes now because I've been faffing about for ages. Back eject. That's one of the things so many people have said like over the years like what they miss in Assassin's Creed now is the back eject and the like the side wall eject and they are so right. They are so right. <laughs> like this system, like the controls might be a bit jank at times right and Ezio might sometimes do stuff that you just don't really mean for him to do. But it was clever and you felt like you were achieving something you know like there was actually like it was just, it felt good to play, whereas the games now just don't. They don't feel good to play. You don't feel like you're doing parkour. And Mirage is just as as much of that, like, Mirage is just as much at fault for that as any other one, because it just uses the same parkour system from Valhalla, so it's the same problem. Yay, lava! Just what we need. We love, we love to see it. Explore the ancient ruin. Try not to fall. The floor is literally lava. Uh, we. I 
was just looking because my phone came up with a notification and it's Skyrim Reddit r slash Skyrim with someone going, am I the only one who doesn't play a build? And like, I honestly could not tell you if what I play in Skyrim could be considered a build. I just do whatever. Like, I am a mage with a giant two-handed weapon because I like to have a weapon that does huge damage because I'm not very skilled. So like, stealth archer doesn't work for me because that involves some semblance of actual like skill. Whereas big weapon do big damage is more my style. Big weapon do big damage, big flame spell do big damage. Could you consider that a build? I truly don't know. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim again. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have, right? What happened was it was my birthday and due to a variety of kind of circumstances to do with like the family and stuff, I ended up that I was on my own for most of my birthday. And I was like, so I just decided to work. Like I was going to take the day off and then I was like, no, look, I'm going to be in by myself anyway, might as well work. But after work, I was like, I want to do something fun. You know, like it's my birthday. So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Skyrim because I haven't played Skyrim in like a year. Or actually, as it turned out, I think it had been about two years since I'd last played Skyrim, according to my achievements, my trophies. Yikes. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to put on Skyrim, I'm just going to run around in the world, la 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 la, spend my birthday in Skyrim. Bad move, because we're now a month later and all I've done is play Skyrim. <laughs> and I should have known, like... You can't turn on Skyrim and not become addicted. It's just that. It's just, that's just the way it is. That's just what that game is. It's the most addictive bloody game. Okay, that was not right. Oh, this is the way I come in. Oh, no wonder that's not right. <laughs> bloody hell. <sighs> right, what way am I going? This way. Run, run, run. Up there. Jumpy jump. Swingy swing. Jumpy jump. Jump. Stealthy, stealthy, stealthy. Stealthy, stealthy. Back. That's not the back of Jake button. That's not the back of Jack button. That is the drop button. La la la. Back of Jack. <laughs> ah, goo. I will get up if I fall. <laughs> back of Jack. Yeah. Ooh, a chest. We're gonna lose the full sink. I might as well go get some money. Wait, I can't even get him to go over there. Well, yeah, that's the sound of the um the thing running out in the background. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, failed. I wasn't far off. I mean, I was quite far off, but not horrendously. Probably could have done it if I wasn't being such an idiot. But I'm never, I have accepted, I'm never going to be able to unlock all, I'm never going to be able to unlock all of the Christina memories in this game because I'm just not good enough at the full sync. There are some really difficult ones in this game, like some really pain in the arse full sinks. Like some of them aren't that bad, but some of them are truly awful. Does full sink still exist? I actually can't remember. I suppose it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Like they had full sink in Black Flag, but like what difference does it make? Because you're not actually in the animus. Like you're not actually, well, Layla was. But like in Black Flag, you weren't in the Amish, you were in like the Helix or whatever. 
So, like, you don't really need to sync with them because it's not your ancestor and you're not trying to sync to their memories and you're not trying to, like, induce the bleeding effect or whatever. Whereas, like, it made sense that, like, Desmond had to, like, sync with Ezio, like, full sync with Ezio's memories. Especially here because he was trying to, like, unlock a repressed memory. But it didn't really have any, like, plot- Fucking hell! Plot relevance. And some of the later games. And then you got like Layla. Like Layla was an, an animus, like an actual animus, not a helix. But it's um Eivor, Cassandra, Bayek, whoever, weren't her ancestors. So she doesn't really need to sync with their memories because like she hasn't like trying to like become them the way that Desmond was? I don't know. Perfect. I route up if I fall. Do I find it weird that Ezio says route? I mean, I'm not Italian. I don't know what Italian people how Italian people pronounce route, but it just it sounds it sounds wrong to me. Like we say root, not route. It just sounds really weird to me. Gotta reboot the router. Wee. Wee. Wait. Oh, did I only come over here so I could get a stupid Borgia flag? Oh. That's annoying. Okay, well, whatever. Go, go, go! Up we go! Wee! Right, this way. Wee. Here we are. Claim the treasure of the followers of Romulus. You know what? I will. Tomatoes? What am I supposed to do with tomatoes? Literally, what am I, do what am I doing with tomatoes? Also, like, right. Can we just talk about, like, look. Look, see these little chests? They have binary data coming out of them. The interface used to be so cool because it was trying to like remind you all the time that you're in a simulation, like this isn't real. It's just not like that anymore. What do I do with tomatoes? I actually don't know, like, I'm, gen I'm not kidding, I don't remember why there are tomatoes. Can I throw them at the Borgia? <laughs> Scroll of Romulus 1. I leave my family's armour here, one of the finest sets ever made. May you who finds it receive its strength in battle. Change of handwriting. We have taken it and set it back behind the iron door. Six keys unlock it, spread amongst our brothers. It shall be said to come from Romulus and they will worship it. Zoom in to see image data. Brutus. Okay. Brutus and Romulus are not the same. These keys unlock the secret treasure room of the followers of Romulus. Open the map to locate it. One of six scrolls of Romulus found. So see, we've got six tombs again, which is how many we had in AC2 as well. The lighting is making my hair look like a solid object. I look really weird on camera today. And I'm wearing this massive oversized, like, snuddy thing because it's so cold like we'd actually been doing all right like i hadn't had the heating on too much um i had it on for like two hours a day like one in the morning one in the, the evening for a while but it's absolutely freezing now has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church quite convenient exactly i believe the borgia are supporting them but proof remains scarce that is why the letter is so important here it is I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. 
This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. We're doing a lot of walking around following Machiavelli in this chapter. 52 florins every 20 minutes. We're going to be rich in no time. Aquedoto Claudia. Something I never really put any money into was these tunnels. I just travel everywhere on foot in this game. The city is really not that big. Like, it doesn't entirely require a fast travel system. The city is not that big. I never Recently use the fast travel. The to avoid the guards. But many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. I just always travel um, on foot or on horse because the map, it takes like five minutes to run from one side to the other. It's not, you don't really need a fast travel system in a game this size. And I'm like a fast travel person. Like I will never not use a fast travel system if it's offered to me. This is like then the one time. Ah, Serezio. Who is this? Fabio Orsini, at your service. Ah, of course. I Fabio Orsini. About you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon I hope we will be free. He's working with the enemy. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? See, si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? <laughs> so you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Icon. Ah, the end of chapter one, sequence one. Hundred percent sync. Well, yeah, there was no, <laughs> there was no objective. Hundred percent sync. Have a conversation with Machiavelli without punching him in the face. No players achieved it. Oh, sequence two. Oh, right. Sequence one was when we left Monteregione. Well, that's probably a good time to stop. So uh, we will pause here and we will pick up next time with sequence three. So thank you as always for coming with me and I will see you next time.